It's an all new at 10. The small town of Bernice is at the center of a firestorm tonight. A state audit accuses town officials of questionable practices when it comes to conducting the people's business. 10 News reporter Brandon Richard has the story from Bernice. That's in Delaware County. Our property comes to here. For the last two years, Steve Miller and his family have been battling the town of Bernice in court. The dispute is over a small piece of property officials say belongs to the town, but Steve and his family say it belongs to them. Two years later, tens of thousands of dollars that could have come in here and just paved this road. Instead, this engineer has been turned into a legal crusader. To help fight the lawsuit, Steve began requesting copies of town council agendas and minutes. Well, that process got pretty ugly. Steve says deputies began harassing his family, even issued his mom a citation for disturbing the peace. But Steve noticed the amount for the ticket was way more than the law allowed. After doing his own research, he asked the state to audit the town. The report came back and found the town, among other things, had a sketchy record when it came to the State Open Meetings Act, had overcollected more than $100,000 in fines since 1977, and had been forcing new residents to pay the utility bills of old residents, a practice the report calls highly questionable and unjust, if not illegal. We tried talking to the mayor, but he instead referred us to the town attorney who was out of town. However, the town attorney did submit the town's official response, which is included in the audit. The town agrees with some of the findings, but disagrees with others, and says there's no law that bars it from collecting unpaid water bills from new residents. Still, the attorney says the town will likely implement all of the audit's recommendations. As for Steve, he hopes his efforts inspires district attorneys to enforce the Open Meetings and Open Records Acts. I don't want anybody to suffer what we have suffered. Reporting in Bernice, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. To see the full report, log on to our website, kgrh.com.